We had been on the road for 19 days with the goal of attending Overland Expo Pacific Northwest. We started up the east side of the Sierras, visiting ancient petroglyphs and the Bodhi ghost town before heading into the mountains of the Tahoe National Forest. After a failed attempt at navigating to the Forest City ghost town, we headed north to take in Bernie Falls and traverse the eastern side of Mount Shasta, which was not without its own challenges. And now we were in Oregon with friends Brian, Emily, and Nick for the final stretch to Overland Expo in Redmond, Oregon. But as we've learned in our travels, things rarely go according to plan. It's a lot of snow. Good morning. It is a bit rainy. We got ourselves packed up in a hurry this morning so that we can avoid uh, packing up in the rain. But uh, it's a wet one. Not sure how much footage we're going to get today, but uh, going to get to it. Just a wet mess. My family was born with curled eyelashes, not me. It was um, starting to rain a little bit, and so it was like, okay. Woke up fairly early this morning for us. You know, but I will say that I think that was record time for us packing up the X1H. Maybe 20 minutes. Yeah, maybe 20 minutes for the whole thing, you know, bedding off and in the Double Jeep. Double round covers. Yeah, just, you know, everything. everything. We were smoking. We were heading south through the Mount Hood National Forest on the east side of the mountain in Highway 35. The early rain caught us off guard, but we were on our way. Our plan was to run back roads all the way south to Highway 26, which would take us the rest of the way into the Redmond area, where we had a couple of side trips planned before the expo. We are headed to Redmond, Oregon. Uh, to prep and stage for Overland Expo Pacific Northwest. Uh, you know, figure we'd stop a few days at a place where we can do laundry and get hot showers and kind of be refreshed before we head to Overland Expo. So.
Hey, Marcy. Marcy's hamming it up for the camera. Yeah, we hit a rocky patch in the trail and decided we probably ought to air down just for some extra traction, especially because it's a little wet. So, you know, just to make sure that uh, we don't really slip off any rocks or anything like that. But uh, it's nice having the crew together to be able to do all this. So, what you find over here? That. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was a deer right in front of us. Started walking toward us. It's amazing. This little baby. It's still right there too. Yeah. Chilly. Yeah. It's the rain subsided for a second. Yeah, I think we're finally about out of the uh, out of the rain, so we can maybe get the drone up in the air and see some of the some of the views around here because so, you know what's over here right oh yeah yeah the peak's still cover uh, clouds the peak is for sure but maybe we'll get lucky
After the rain cleared, we were making good time. The trail was solid and despite a few ruts was in pretty good shape. We were all in good spirits and knew that Gunsight Butte and the highest point of the trail at just over 5,800 feet was close ahead, signaling a downhill run the rest of the way to the highway. But this is where our luck would change. All right, so we've been on this trail for a little while. I don't know if you can hear that under my feet. We got crunching of snow. And this goes on for a little while. And the question is, how far does it go? Is it passable? That's a good question. But yeah, this just keeps going. What's that, babe? No. No? Big question is, how are we going to get everybody to turn around? I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot of snow. Yeah, if it's going to be like this here, it's just going to be a mess. We're going to have to figure out how to get turned around. Not what I expected for today. But you never know what to expect. All right, so, so Brian's gonna launch the drone. We're gonna try to get scout ahead with the drone. So see if we can find any more snow. See yeah. if we can find the end. Well, let's see to if we can snow. find no more snow. That's I'm with Emily. <laughs> That's right. No more snow. Mama, I'm gonna watch the snow. Make sure you catch it on film when we fall. <laughs> She wants to go play right in that snow. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, it's, it's solid. Completely snowed in. And just because it's not thick here, doesn't mean it's not going to get thick up there. Thicker the higher we, higher we go. Right. There is a lot of snow and there's a shelf road up there that see, we, I'm out. we couldn't see because the <laughs> drone wouldn't go far enough. Okay. It lost signal and then was yeah. coming home. So It's just not worth the risk, mm -mm. in my opinion. Agree. Okay. Turn around. <laughs> what are the options now for turnaround? We back up here and like do a three-point turn disconnect and flip it around and then he was saying that even if we have to back up so that the next rig can come up and use well, this if spot we pull up ryan can turn first then i can turn then you can back down and turn okay. no, we're not going up there that way we don't have anybody trying to go by each other on this road right okay. does that sound good yeah i think it's the safest thing yeah and then Brian, Brian, as the rear commander, takes over. If you if you cut that, you'll you'll be good. With a ground guy watching the tree, but even if necessary, you could back it back towards that, pull forward, and then back back into there, and then pull out. Worst case. Yeah, I think so. Just have spotters on each side of the trees, and yeah. you can do it. Mm -hmm. This is what I was thinking. And that's less than a mile back and take that road. I don't know if that's the one y'all were thinking about the first time, because this one actually goes back. Right. This is probably where- I think that's where that bathroom was, yeah. right? So if we go back here. Yeah, I, I, I thought I saw a turn off for that, but that doesn't look like a, that looks more like a dirt bike road or something, ATV trail. Yeah, that's a dead, or a hiking trail for that matter. Yeah. So we may have to go back to the 
Yeah, we'll go back to where that bathroom was. And I'm pretty sure that oh, was there. Cool. And then that'll cut us back to that road back there. Yeah. Yep. There's one mile, two miles, three miles, four, five. I think you passed it. It's right yeah, there at yeah. that. So, one, two, three miles back. Okay. And then that takes us really all the way back to where we were right. <laughs> this morning. <laughs> gas could be cut. How are y'all doing on gas? Uh, I'm probably I'm, the lightest. I'm above a half a tank. I'm I'm about a quarter, but I have four gallons on board. He was saying he's got some gas. Yeah, I've got, I've got three and a half, four, eight, eight gallons up there, and then eight to nine, and then right now I'm sitting at above a, between a quarter and a half. So I, and it shows that I have. I think we should be all right, especially with that extra fuel on board. So. Wish we had a little bit, a little bit more extra fuel. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> Got this side. All right. Looking at it, I think it's probably better if you put it right here first, and then pull up. Uh, well. You do what you know. You do what you think you need to do. Yeah. Left hand down hard. Hold it. Hold it. Pull up a little bit. Change your angle just enough to get away from that tree. Yep. Yeah, you got room. I guess well I'm done, next, sir. huh? Well done. Yep. Good job. Do you want to back everybody out? Yep. Brian's up for the next ring. <laughs> Watch this tree back here. Okay. Are you guys looking for me? I'm right here. Yes. You're looking for me. You're looking for Emily. Look at those purple shoes. <laughs> Not yet. new to the channel, Alicia isn't fond of snow, and snow melt can lead to unpredictable conditions. A year prior, we encountered a situation in Utah 
that was a quick learning experience and one we weren't in a hurry to repeat. So we made our way off the mountain, disappointed that we had to deviate from our plan. There was no race, but we were still on the timeline. And there were too many unknowns to continue with as much snow on the trail as we could see. Today we set off to see a few local sites near Redmond. Oh, the restroom. It's a restroom, so that's smart. right. Yep, that symbol means restroom. All right, so we're at the Peter Skeen Ogden <laughs> State Scenic <laughs> Viewpoint in Oregon. Um, we got off our off-road trail yesterday, set up at a campground so that we could get laundry done, refresh, restock for the next section of our trip where we go to Overland Expo. But today, Today's a little sightseeing day, so we're going to go check out a few sites. The Peter Skeen Ogden Scenic Viewpoint is nine miles north of Redmond, Oregon, and is nestled on the cliffs overlooking the Crooked River. I'm wondering if we can see the Crooked River from there. The basalt cliffs are straight down, so make sure to keep a close watch on kids and pets. Look up, look up, look up! Century, traffic increased dramatically on U.S. Highway 97, from a few vehicles per day in the 1920s to over 8,000 by the 1990s. What do you say? Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty place to put flowers. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> do you think that water is cold 
The original driving bridge is now a walking path and gives you a different perspective while viewing the rail bridge to the west and the new Highway 97 bridge to the east, named after World War II fighter ace Rex T. Barber. It's melting snow. Would it be warm water or would it be very chilly? Chilly. Yeah, it would be very chilly. I see lots of dandelion puffs. You want to get them and we can make some wishes? <laughs> that is big. <laughs> what is that? That's 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 holy no. cow, that is the <laughs> biggest dandelion I think I've ever seen. We were walking by and I was like, whoa, what is, is that? that is massive. And it's already partly blown oh, away. It wasn't when I picked it up. Yeah. <laughs> it was full, but the wind is pretty um, pretty intense. Yeah. So now we've uh, stopped that. I'm going to go down there, Mom and Dad. You want to go down there? I'm going to go down there now. <laughs> okay. Well, we just showed up at Smith Rock State Park in Oregon and uh, just walking up from the parking lot. It's a short little walk and this is beautiful. You got to see this. Just a few miles to the southeast, we made another stop, this time at Smith Rock State Park, a popular scenic hiking spot. Smith Rock is considered the birthplace of modern American sport climbing, and you'll often see rock climbers making their way to the top of the wall. Yeah. But we weren't quite that adventurous and decided to stick to the hiking trails. Okay, I see young people like huffing and a puffing. Should I be worried? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, this is quite a little downhill section here, so we may not be working at it right now, but going up may be a totally different story. I'm going to go with the huffing and puffing I'm seeing coming up. We're going to be huffing and a puffing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, that's a good grade. Look at that. I'm going to go down there. I'm going to go down there. I'm going to go down there. Okay. I'm going to go down there. You want to go where? Down there. Down there? Down there? Down there? I did a quick stop. Yeah, you did. Because I didn't want to go too far. High five. Look here, this is a viewing rock. You may climb up, but you have to hold my hand. I'm going to go down there. Yeah, of course you do. I'm gonna go down there so you can go with me. Okay. Yeah, again, the camera doesn't do it justice, but this is a pretty decent. Yeah, this is a pretty decent grade going down, and going down doesn't worry me, it's the going up. I know that when we go down and we have to walk back up, you have to walk the whole thing. Okay. Nobody's gonna carry you. Okay. Okay. It's really pretty in here, though. Yeah. This is something else. So, you remember when we were younger and climbed all the pyramids of mm -hmm. belize mm -hmm. yeah that's that's what that's going to be like getting uh -huh. back out yeah are you ready for that no nope. are you ready to cor carry a 40 pound child no <laughs> that's not happening <laughs> i got the dog i think she's like what eight pounds <laughs> <laughs> okay we'll we'll have to switch that but man yeah we're gonna, <laughs> gonna be sore tomorrow yes yeah Whoa, look at that giant walk. Look at that giant walk. Which one? That one. Is that the one in the water? Yeah. Yeah, it is a giant rock, isn't it? I said they're in the water down there. Don't point that out to her. We'll never <laughs> leave here. Good job. Oh, which way should we go? That's a good question. Yeah. I think 
Yes. That right there, what does that look like? I do not know. Well, what is this shape? Hmm. I don't know. Is that a diamond? Yes. Okay. It's a diamond. It's a diamond. And then what do you see here? What does that look like? A break. A break in the diamond. See, this is what we call a black diamond. When you see this symbol, and that means that this is a most difficult trail. So we are not going to go up there because that's going to be very, very, very difficult. Okay? Oh. Yeah. So we're not going to do that one today. No. All right. We've taken a break here on the way up. Let's go. <laughs> this little one decided we were going to take the uh, steep but short way back up. It, it was harder. It's harder? She said, whew. This may have been a mistake. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but but you're doing a great job. You are. All right. Well, we still ready? got a ways yep. to go. Yep. Let's go. All right, let's roll. Yeah, this really does kind of. In case you uh, didn't see the honeymoon episodes, this is a yeah. recreation of it. But yeah. we're older. Older and with and child. With child, and more out of shape. <laughs> yeah, hiking up the uh, pyramids in Belize was kind of like this. <laughs> kind of like this. Good morning. We're at Overland Expo Pacific Northwest um, and uh, just had our breakfast, got the tents kind of tightened up and it's time to, well, we're not hitting the trail today. Take a walk, I guess. I feel like I'm hitting the trail. <laughs> yeah. Except I'm pulling the Jeep. Lacey's <laughs> nice. got the wagon for Julesy. Yeah. And Hanny. And Hanny. You got Hanny in there? Yeah. But Hannah got yeah, the shade. The lap of luxury right there. Yep. Oh, thank yeah. you, Melissa, for the free stroller. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Okay, here we go. Overland Expo, the event we drove all the way to attend. And we were finally here. She's gonna be in a perfect. A long bark day of barking if she thinks she's going to keep that up. She's going to get worn out soon. Yeah. Starlink's up. What do you think? Bed. Yeah? This is a big space. All right, so we're here at Overland Expo and got Brad from Trail Recon here. How you doing? Good, man. I'm good. What good. a great venue. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome here. And we haven't even really made it that far in, but, uh, you know, it's still just so much to see. Yeah. Um, so you brought the Patriot Camper with you? Yeah, so Regina and I uh, made a big trip all the way up uh, Highway 395 and then a little exploring. Uh, nice. And then we're going to spend some time with family and then another make another trip home. So we wanted to be able to, you know, have all our gear with us and, yeah. uh, and make a good long trip of it. So. Awesome. Yeah. And you're here representing BFG. Are you going to be here in the booth the whole time? Uh, so we'll be at the BFG booth, and then we have a trailrecon.com uh, booth as well. So awesome. we got some gear and stuff over there. So. <laughs> it's really cute. I want to go see it. I want to see this. It's cute. <laughs> she likes the cute campers. I do. I can't help it. Yeah. Like that. yeah. <laughs> You know, you just make sure you have that. That we can. That's not that expensive. This is so cute, and that fan's kicking. Is it? Yeah. Huh. And it's even blowing cool air. Huh. This is darling. I want Jesse to get this. <laughs> yeah, yes, in blue upgrade. <laughs> yes, thank you. Put the baby inside. What? Uh, what is your base and what would you think over the top looks like price wise? Oh, oh wow. This one he's got about 300,000 then to it. This is nifty. I like all the blue lights. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a no joke push. They're very yeah. um, secure. So yeah. you want to hold the door face and pull straight back. It's stiff. It's oh, it's like a top. spring too. Yeah. That's oh, awesome. Nice. Very, very cool. Does it open this way? No, it's rolls okay. straight out. Oh. It's uh, a pantry. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's amazing. That's the nice. part that just 
blows my mind. Right. I mean, I'm standing in a van, but there's so much story. Okay. By the way, you're behind the screen. I sure am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And that just is... It's just slide. It's like a regular door. Wow. Oh, and an accordion's right in. That's yeah. that's very cool. Yeah, because right like on. airflow and then pets mm -hmm. and right. bugs. Keep bugs. Them bugs. Yeah, keep the bugs out. I mean, definitely the bugs. Oh my yeah. goodness, bugs. We spent all three days exploring, talking to vendors, a few acquaintances, and picked up a couple things. Right on. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. All right. Have a good one. You guys have a fun time oh, this weekend. Timbo Tusk. Yeah. These are the guys right here. <laughs> Thanks. Right Keep your eyes open for our top five family overlanding options video, where we'll dive in a bit deeper into our thoughts on the event. And then we'll end with... <laughs> We're right at home. <laughs> right at home. <laughs> If you liked this episode, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And check out this video right here. We're just getting started, and our journey has just begun.